All right, Solo, and I am back with EA Sports UFC 4. We are on the Xbox Series S here, and I am going to begin some fights in with Stipe Miocic. I would love to play ranked right now, but the weight class going on is lightweight, featherweight, and that's going to be ending soon. And then the next one is going to be women's weight classes, and I don't play those, so... We have to do quick fights here. We're gonna we're gonna use Stipe here, guys. So let's go ahead and get this started. See what we can do. And here we go. We have. <clears throat> Excuse me, we have Francis Ngannou. I do have the uh, number of rounds on any, so it could be three or five round fight. So if it is, I need to pay attention to what it's going to be, because if it is five right, rounds, we have to kind of plan accordingly, you know, to stamina. Especially at heavyweight, you know, the stamina definitely matters more than other weight classes. So have a good one. No glove touch. All good. This is only a three rounder, though. Match feels definitely a little laggy though. I can tell when I'm trying to throw certain combos here. Big body kick. Uh, left hand from Francis Ngannou. Every time he loads up and extends, you feel like the fight... Thought for sure he was going to throw a leg kick there. The up oh, there it is. You hear a big exhale. Every time Francis loads up to finish a fight, you hear the crowd take all the air in yeah. because they're ready to explode. That's the type of performer. That's the type of fighter that Francis is. Got the rock on him, and we can kind of hang back a little bit. He's actually fight, playing really patient. Of course, as we know, Francis' power is like a 99 in this game, so we have to watch out for that. Yeah, this lag definitely is not helping at all. But we did get another rock on him there, so. Nope, they mean to take him down, but it worked. I was trying to throw another body shot. Okay. Just gonna, I, I, there's no point. It's no waste of my time. I gotta stop those. Black's kind of throwing that little duck hook there, doesn't he? Oh, he lands a hook there, DC. That was one of his more significant lands of the fight. He can land He's been rocked twice, so I'm kind of just kind of chill out a little bit. I don't really have to force the fight this round. We can wait till the second round to get started again. And both guys really throwing with authority. Do want to kind of answer him back to the leg, though. There we go. This is a nice check by us. And we hit him with another leg kick. I have a feeling he's going to throw upstairs now with a head kick. Final seconds here. All right. Good round for us. Got two rocks on him. Took our time. <clears throat> I'm not against grappling him if I feel like I need to, but I'm not really looking to do that. I mean, if I drop and get on top of him or something, but if I'm getting beat up a little bit, we'll see. Okay, yeah, this lag, man, is not helping anything. It's really bad. Okay, 
right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come for me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some... Oh! Beautifully done with the hook there by Miacic. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. Notice he's not really blocking low when I when he gets rocked. That's why I threw two body hooks there. Risky. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to do it again. <laughs> Trying to throw a head kick there, went to the body instead. Good thing I didn't get rocked off that. Just missed with the left there. 50 total strikes have landed for Stipe. He's going to throw a hook now. 43% accuracy against Francis Ngannou. Ngannou gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Nice job by Miacic on the feet, making some adjustments, and damn, that jab looks clean tonight. I mean, that jab looks clean, but you gotta be very careful not to get hit with a steep... Got him with that spinning elbow. It's powerful, it's straight, and it can be very dangerous. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. I think we checked that one. Nice punch there by the heavyweight Miacic. Up, oh, thought he might step forward after that little duck there. I know he likes doing that duck hook, so he's doing it right now. Kind of interesting. Should have countered him there. So a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Double that up again. Strikes there in terms of the accuracy. I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting pads. It's like he's hitting focus spins, but instead. There we go. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He's gonna have to do. He's gonna have to do something. He's gonna have to get a little desperate here. Oh, I went for it. Into these big leg kicks. The predator gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. So he's really starting to put together some significant. Yeah, this lag is not letting me throw certain combos, man. They just don't want to come out. Oh, it's supposed to be a head kick. Man, I thought I was far enough away for that to land. Try it again. There we go. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Straight punch lands. I went for that elbow. Too far away. <clears throat> Excuse me there. He's going to have to do something, though. He's, uh... We dropped him that round. We rocked him twice in the first. He's got to try to make it happen. And yeah, I, I do not plan to give this guy a rematch if he wants one because his lag is just uh, it's annoying. That's for sure. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect. Oh! He needs to start looking for finish now because he's got it very bad. He's going at it now. Oh! See, he won't block. He doesn't block low. Having none of that. Let's go ahead and just get right off the fence. Now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the ring. Don't want to give him a free rock. Oh, nice jab. What a body kick. Oh, nice oh man, if he would have stayed there, that would have been it for him. <laughs> uh, I did that nice pull up. I should have pulled straight. I probably would have landed. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Watch a good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Nothing really to do here. Just, just gonna take our time. Let's see if we can get up. We or up. The midway point of the third and final round. Actually, do I'm gonna stay south, Paul. I'm trying to pull him here. And just 42% oh. accuracy in terms of the land rate against Francis and 
Punch coming, it's blocked. Ngannou's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swing. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, he might be out. There we go, we got him. Oh, and he quit. Yeah, match was just really, really laggy. It was unfortunate. There's so many times I kept trying to throw a combo and it just didn't want to come out. It wasn't delayed lag, but it was it was still annoying. But we got the W. Oh, nice, and we got to level two off that. <laughs> All right, let's go with the B. Nice. Got another uh, Francis fight. I'm probably going to use Francis too, maybe tomorrow or even Saturday. Uh, Francis, though, it's been a while since. I don't think I've used him in this game. He, he's pretty difficult to use, though, I remember, in UFC 3. It's probably similar here. It's not that you can't, though. It's just like he's a little difficult because he's got those long arms. He moves a little, feels a little slow, lumbering. But, of course, the power. Hit the glove touch. Well, he's gonna keep backing away there. The take down there. How good is his take down? Wonder if he meant to do a takedown or he accidentally did it. I spot a kick by him. Up. There we go. Switch straight lead hook. Double that up. Oh, I thought I had stopped that one in time. Boy, he really wants to take down, huh? Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Really? That's what he does? <laughs> Under three minutes now to go in round one. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by the Predator. Wait half a second. Go. Both fighters get up now. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. I went for a take that on him. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. So just over 20 total strikes. Those hands on him. Gotta watch my stamina a little bit. Oh, this is a five-round fight. I just realized that. Take down. This is a five-rounder. I have to really watch my stamina here. I'm being way too aggressive here. He's gonna go backside. No, he didn't. Makes me think he may not sprawl out then. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently... I went up. I thought he was going to go up. But you can see him now start the game posture and the intensity at which... Not going to drop too much. Just a little bit. It's starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Yep, I went right, he went left. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Ngana. Watch a good ground and pound by him here. Certainly stay busy and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective. To throw damage strikes. He's doing it. This is great damage we're doing here. Look at him. He's not doing anything. I wonder why. Why is he allowing himself to get hit like that for? That makes no sense. I need to watch my stamina though. Be a little bit smarter. I might, might actually grapple him again. Oh, 
I mean, my stamina is okay, but still, I just, I, five rounder. Look at that, my combos come out now when we don't have to worry about lag. Nice. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to There we go. We're doing some great damage to him here. It's going to be a matter of time before we get that rock on him. Oh, thought he was going to step in. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land. Yeah, and I knew he was going to do it again. I was like, you're going to get leg kicked now. Oh, nice uppercut timing there while I was going for my lead hook. There we go. We time him, though. I'm still throwing a lot, but we're landing, though. And to be fair, he, he's being really aggressive. <laughs> oh, big left. Well, he's really picked up the that one, two, three's been killing me, killing it for me. Down again. Push him away. Oh, good thing I got that block up in time before he blasted me. Slips the punch nicely there. His head is gone. See, he, he he really messed himself up in that first round. Good fight, man. Yeah, what happened was in that first round, he just let me well on him from side control with those elbows. And I, I don't know why he did that for. And in doing that, he really, like, he diminished his head health. His head health was gone. I knew it was going to be a matter of time. Straight right, lead hook, my favorite combo. Extremely simple, but very effective. And here once more with the official. Let's go and get another one in. He didn't want to rematch so good. I want to give I'll give people rematches um, as long as it's not a laggy match. Nice. I, I like how we're getting all the Francis players because uh, that's just going to be fighting. We got to got to keep it realistic, right? I always like when players do that. Sorry if y'all hear my creaky chair. I got this. Need to get. I need to invest in a nice little chair. I got this cheap little wooden chair I sit on. Gets the job done, but it's creaky and it's not the most comfortable. So sometimes I shift around. All right, so let's pay attention. This is going to be a three or five rounder. Three rounder. Oh, no glove touch. Hey, all good, man. I understand. Time she's want to get right after it. Oh, if he would have been in range on that hook. We can play the ground game. Does Francis have crucifix? I would think he doesn't. Nah, he was going for side. He was going for side saddle there. All right, and we're up.
Man, he threw the triple uppercuts at me. Oh, in time I ducked down right. <laughs> He's got to keep spamming that now. See if we can get on top here. Yep. Oh, he got that. Pretty sure I felt like I had blocked that. Blocked that one. He's going to go backside. Watch. No, he stood up. I'm going to hit him with a knee. Oh my goodness, that uppercut every time. You can't forget, if you try to sidelines and uppercuts, they will catch you. Nice catch. Nice. I blocked it. He went for the rear naked choke. My stamina is still dead. Wow. He might get me. He might get us here, guys. I blocked his first attempt, and then I thought I could just transition. My stamina was still bad. Did I block his chain? No, I did not. Oof. Fortunately, he doesn't seem to be too good at this. He's like me with these submissions. I'm terrible at him too, so I can't say anything. Um, so we'll get out of the round. I just spammed elbows there because the round was ending. Man, he's, he just spent those uppercuts keep catching me. He throws the double, triple uppercuts. The last one he got the rock on, I was side lunging. I believe uppercuts will always catch you in side lunges, if I'm not mistaken. If you're close enough, of course, to like he was. Even because I was holding block button. Oh, nice job by him there. Take our time. Waiting for him to throw the uppercut so I can slip him, because I know he's probably going to double up or triple up on it. But he's kind of gotten away from it, surprisingly. There it is. That keeps missing. I need to throw the lead hook instead. There we go. No. No. He still kept going for it. He didn't care. Nope. Try to take him down. Couldn't even do anything. Let's walk again. Just take our time. There's no need to rush. Oh, I thought he was going to stay there. I was ready to interrupt that. He's hesitant now to do anything. Gonna hold high block and back away. He's gonna sprawl out, I'm sure. Yeah. Not gonna be that easy, man. Ah, he didn't go backside. I'm gonna try to go right back to crucifix. Nice. Nope. Now he'll probably go backside. Yep. Nope. Oh no, I blocked that. That's... Unless his grapple bench was just that high, but I was I was pretty quick on it. Let's go ahead and go top mount. He's going to try to get straight up. I have a feeling. Let's see. Got our stamina back first. Sir.
All right. Good round for us. We get, we did get. I think we rocked him a few times though, but he did get that one rock on us. That's Francis though. You know, it's his power. I got hit with an overhand. You're gonna get rocked from that. But yeah, that was still definitely our round. But I, I do need to be careful. Even though we are winning this fight, I can get flashed. Not just not just flash drop, but flash knocked out. I mean, you can just get flashed immediately. <laughs> we don't take that serious. Sir, I thought he was going to try to grab me. Good head movement, man. Good head movement. I thought he was going to try to grab me, so that's why I slipped my head, but it happened to be an uppercut. Did I block that? Nope. He's done. That head is gone. I knew he was going to try to, um, to, block, to worry about stopping my knee, so that's why I threw the punch instead. Good fight, man. I really need to get better at my grappling, man. I was a pretty decent grappler, you know, kind of on my good days at UFC 3, but man, I just haven't done much in this game of it. I can tell I'm rusty. Winner by knockout. I think we'll go ahead and do one more fight. Let's so look at the fight stats here. Man, three knockdowns in that first round for us alone, but he also rocked us three times too. Stat-wise, as far as punches, tone and everything, you know, fairly even, you know, more or less. Uh, round two, we threw 20 more, landed 12 more, six strikes. I mean, we we wiped him out there. A couple of rocks and a drop, but he, he did manage to rock us once there. Then, of course, man, look at the accuracy in that third round, 15 to 23, 50% of our six strikes, three knockdowns and a stun. Let's go ahead and get one more in here. It looks like the ping is pretty good. Let's do it. Who'd he pick? Oh, he went random. Props to him. And man, I need to get a new headset. I, ha I have a Stealth 300, which is a wired headset. He got Mark Coleman. And um, it's made for the PS4, but it's wired. But for some reason, it's a really obnoxious buzzing sound. So I guess it's tuned for PS4 or something. So I, I'm kind of using this old Turtle Beach headset I have. It's a, it's a wired one as well. I do want to get that Xbox wireless headset. It's $100. It looks really nice. And what I've seen of it, it looks great. But unfortunately, it's just really hard to get right now. So not in a big rush about it. But let's focus up here because, man, this man's brave enough to pick random fighters. He's using Mark Coleman. There we go. Stop that one. He knows he needs to get the takedown. I appreciate that. I mean, what else can he do? Oh, he turned at the last second there. Good job on delaying that turn. Got me with it. I like that. Oh, I thought I blocked that. Let him have these. That's Mark Coleman, man. That man can ground up like nobody's business. See, we can't get straight up. Nice. Gonna try to shoot in again. I'm watching for it. Nope. Nope. 
How come my stamina is just so dead from that, from defending? He should have, I mean, that's crazy. There we go. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Stipe Miocic. It's crazy. Stipe has elbows. He has a spin elbow. He's got that front kick to the face. He's going to go for a takedown. Trying to go for a head kick too close. Man, this 60 frames per second, guys, is no joke. That is why I'm able to stop these takedowns like that. It's crazy. I don't think I can play UFC 4 on the, on the PS4. Oh. There we go. Oh, he got that one. Oh, he's going for a submission. Man, that took me off guard. I was like, he ain't going to do that. If he gets this, he uh, props to him. I would imagine Coleman. I don't know, though, for sure. Even though my stamina is dead, his isn't that high either. I would imagine Coleman is not that good at... His submission range is not that high. Because, like, the only submission wins I know that Coleman... Maybe he does have arm triangle win, but I know he's got a couple of neck crank wins. Like, he, he submitted Dan Severn with a really... With a nasty neck crank. But I don't think he's really done, like, you know... Like, he hasn't done any, got any rear naked choke wins or arm bars or something like that. Still, though... See if we can get him to throw from too far. I'll catch him with the front kick again here. Alright, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo deal, right? No three piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. Oh. Don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. <laughs> Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punch I stuck. together. Make this well, nice oh, I thought I stopped that one. It's a little too slow. He's gonna go to crucifix, I'm sure. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Oh, how about the Stop some ground and pound. I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but... It's not like Coleman's going to have a rolling knee bar or something crazy here from this position. I meant to get up there. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. I need to let my stamina get up before I do anything. Okay. I get up. Ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very... Stopped it. I wasn't sure if I was going to get that one. Nice. I'm not mad at this man. He's got to do what he's got to do using Mark Coleman. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By feeding him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing chess. All right, we're up. He's playing chess. He can't keep up once he gets to his legs. He's got to okay. feed him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. Nope, we're already pre-blocking that. <laughs> I let my stamina get really low there. I was about to pull straight him there. Thinking he was going to throw that three-piece again. Yeah, he likes doing that. I guess because my stamina... I, I felt like I was on top of that one, but I guess because my stamina is lower, it, it wasn't. I tried. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions. Oh, he's going for wow. I was wondering what he was doing. I thought he was going back to side control. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's gonna take off bar here. Mark Coleman doing an arm bar, you know, that's that's not really Coleman's game. That's why it's so easy to escape. I feel like I'm not even doing that great of a job. Maybe I'm not as bad as I think I am. Nice ground and pound there. Let's keep it up on him. Nice job there on that one. I guess he's just trying to like, like uh, he thinks he's playing like UFC 2 or 3. Where I think it was UFC 2 where you could spam submission attempts over and over and over. People would do that because it, it worked in the judge's favor. And so I think in UFC 3 they took that away if I'm not mistaken. And I'm sure it's the same for UFC 4. 
Yeah, in UFC 2, that was a popular strategy to do. Players would go for uh, takedowns over, uh, submissions over and over, spe specifically that armbar from Mount, because it's kind of hard to block. And, um... And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. I was about to throw a body shot. Nice and he landed the right hand there. Gotta watch my stamina. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked. The hand ah, that was me. I went the wrong way. Wrong way. All right, gotta be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John. That's why you don't sit. Let's grapple. I'm down to grapple. Sit in the full guard. It gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions. And now he's jumping on a triangle. Oh, I thought I stopped that. Mm. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Yeah, he pre-blocked that. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Coleman's, Coleman's, Coleman's the man on that. I'm going to go sprawl. He's going to probably go submission. Oh, wow, they let him get that. All right, let's get up. Under three minutes remain in this third and final. I still don't fully understand that position. Close guard. Like when he got that take out from my back. Like I'm not nice sure exactly what he did. Oh man, hammer fist again by Coleman. Pretty sure we still won the fight. Like we won the first round. I feel like we won the second round. He can just kind of just laying on us here. Got him. I knew he was thought we were gonna go the other way again. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Go and get top mount. Well, you know, I don't like the key very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been this guy's pretty good at that game. I'm skipping jujitsu next week too. I have pre-block. I should have been a little smarter about that one. Comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape, or maybe look for a Kimura here. Miocic ground and pound from half guard. Under a minute now. Think I was gonna fake top mount and then go. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling could really be entertaining. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it Try is. Try to make these shots on the on the feet count here. He's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage. Nice takedown. Alright, good fight, man. Good fight. Gotta give him props. He did really good with Coleman. He did his thing with Coleman, man. He did what he needed to do. I feel like we won the fight. But we'll see. But that's going to be the last fight, guys. Oh, let's see who won. You never know for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 29-28, 30-27, 29-28. For the winner, by unanimous decision, yeah. Stipe Very ugly performance for me. Like I said, guys, I got to tighten up my, my striking. You know what? He wants a rematch. Let's give him one. Let's do it. I don't want to say no. Sometimes, I'm not saying he's like that, but some of these players, they get mad at you when you don't give them their rematch. I'm going to just go with Steve. We're using Steve base, so that's who I'm going to go with. Keep it the same. Should be fun. Let's see, now he's got a striker now, though. So this is a Marcoma where he kind of has the desperation to shoot at me. So I need to be careful. And Francis in Ghana. But yeah, win, lose, or draw, this this will be the last one. Maybe I'll play more off camera or something if he wants to play some more. Oops, I meant to skip that. I was just messing around with the D-pad. I like the D-pad on this Xbox controller. It's going to be interesting when I play some fighting games on it. Back to the drawing board and said, This is not going to happen to me ever again. 
Let's see if he can go back into class and change the result against the guy that truly, truly exposed him. Nice straight punch. I need to drop that straight ride with Stipe to the body because it is a, a five-star move. There we go. Take our time. No need to rush. No need to rush. We're going to take our time here. There we go. Ha ha ha. Nice. Nice move by him. I need to go to the body when he does that. He likes the one, two. Oh, wow. Couldn't slip there. He likes the, or pull back. I mean, he likes that one, two lead hook. One, two, three. Classic combo. There we go. Should block this. Yeah. Just going to let him up. Ah, it keeps happening to me where I'm out of range. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, man, look how quickly he gets that foot to the target. Oh, oh, he's a target. He's hurt bad. Went for a leg kick off that straight right. Didn't want to come out. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent start to slow Look at the stamina difference. Because we're staying calm. I'm going to let him up. I'm going to let him away. Yep, I knew he would do that again. That's what I was waiting for. Back away. Oh, I went for it again. He got it. Because I went for it. I, I queued up another uppercut and it didn't come out. It didn't want to come out on me. There we go. Let's let him up. Not late, interested in grappling. Back to the feet now. Whiffs on that offer. Gotta watch my stamina. Big oh, nice head kick. Oh, nice knee to the body. Did that hook miss or did it land? It looked like it went through him. I couldn't tell if it did damage or not. Oh. <laughs> I got me again with the head kick. I need to just, if he's going to throw to my leg or body there, I just need to eat those because I don't want to get flash rocked or dropped off a head kick like that. Oh, he quit. <laughs> he's the one I wanted to rematch. Uh, but all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and stop here. This is, like I said, Steve great. No surprise. But uh, that's going to do it for this one. I do appreciate y'all watching. I will catch you all next time. Hope you all have a great day. Stay safe. Take care. Peace.